Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Um, it's Chris Rossi V here and today what I'll be doing, I will be dyeing my natural hair because it's top. Y'all can't see it, but look y'all. Yeah. It's top. It's top. So, well, I, the product that I like to use, I already have on gloves. I don't use the gloves that come in the boxes with the dye because they be even a little cheap flimsy gloves, so I don't like to use those. Um, I use texture tones. This is the dye that I favor. If I don't find this one by Clairol, I'll use the other brand. The Caucasian lady on the front. They both do the same job. It's just this one for my hair texture tones. It just does so, so, so very well on my hair. So very well. I've already mixed it up. Um, in the kit. Of course, you'll get this with the... Um, I forget what it's called the white the developer or whatever it's called that's in the box you'll get this and then you'll get this all I did was take the top off and pour this in here and you have to shake it until it gets to the color of the dye you have I have black I don't do color on my hair color on my hair does not do well at all I tried it before and everywhere I put the color it popped out so I don't do color I stick to my black and also you will get the conditioner now this conditioner, I done had, and I don't use a lot of conditioner, but this is some really, really good conditioner. But it's hard to find if it's not inside of this kit. It's doggone near impossible just to find just the big bottles of conditioner. But this conditioner right here is the bomb.com. The bomb.com. And you also, you know, you get the instructions and all that stuff in the kit. These are the gloves that come with y'all. I I ain't gonna fight with these. I, uh -uh, I ain't got time. I ain't got time. But of course they have the instructions front and back. But yeah, for my hair, I'm a natural girl. It says 30 minutes. I'm gonna leave it on 30 minutes. Maybe 35. I just wanna make sure it takes because sometimes my hair is really coarse. So it sometimes it's hard for it to take color, but I do leave it on for the 30 minutes. I've already combed it out. So now I'm just going to section my hair off and get get with the getting. It's very simple. All I did, my hair hasn't been, my hair isn't wet, it's dry of course. I just combed it out, detangled it some, and now I'm going to apply my color. And I'm going to apply my color to a part of my head, then I'm going to leave and I'm going to come back with it on the rest. Now I'm going to shake it up some more. Make sure it's mixed up really good. This is how I do it. Put, put, the, put the dye on. And I just... I should have had two. I looked. I went to three different stores. I couldn't find... Two of each of the brands or the alternate brand that I normally use. So, I'm going to just rock it out with this one. I'm going to make it work. Because y'all know dye. You can make dye stretch. Well, I can. Because my hair is already dark. So, I really only need it. Need, or I only really focus. Not need. I only really focus on my roots. Because that's where my gray hair is. Of course. Okay, y'all, make sure I got right up here in the front where I have most of my gray. Now I'm going to just twist this up and I'm going to do the back. I really don't focus too much on my ends because like I say, most of my gray is at the root. Hey, y'all, I'm back. And um, I have the dye over my whole head. So 
I'm gonna let it sit for 30 minutes and I'm gonna rinse it out. Then I'll come back and I'll apply the conditioner. I've already washed and shampooed it. Some people say you're not supposed to dye it. I mean, <laughs> you're not supposed to shampoo it or you do it on. No. I shampoo mine. I have to. I, don't, I just want to make sure it's out of my hair and it's not irritating my scalp. So I've shampooed it already. I haven't put my conditioner on. I'm going to detangle it and I'm going to put the conditioner on with y'all. This is what comes inside the little the kit. This comes with the kit. So, go ahead and I'm gonna get it on in. Mm -hmm. And this conditioner smells so good, y'all. And it's real creamy. A little cream. And like I said, I've been using texture tones years. Take my line to the comb. I'm gonna apply a little bit more. Well, a lot of bit more. Cause after you, after me with my hair, after I've dyed it, my hair feels, it's a chemical. So I'll be feeling like my hair feels strained or stressed or whatever is the proper terminology. But I just wanna make sure it doesn't feel brittle and all that. That's why I probably dye my hair maybe out of a year, maybe two times, maybe three. Not that often. And the slip, it does, it has a really good slip. That's why I love it. And after I wash this out, my hair be feeling so, so hydrated. I have the conditioner over my whole head. This is what my hair is looking like so far. So I'm going to go wash it out. This is my hair with the conditioner washed out. And what I like to do is, after I dye my hair, I don't like to do a style. I just like to put some moisture back on my hair and then I'll just twist it up in a top knot. That's my preference. I'm going to go through and put on a leave-in conditioner. My fave, 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 favorite <laughs> leave-in conditioner is Shea Moisture. You can see it. I've been using this for a very, very long time. Probably since I went natural, maybe a year or so after I was natural. But this is my go-to. I love this stuff. This is a consistency. Let me see it. That's the consistency. And what I do is, y'all know I'm heavy handed. I use a lot of product. Because I'm just trying to make sure my hair got that moisture. I don't want my hair to be, you know, brittle and dry and start to pop from me processing with the dye. I'll take my tinkle teaser. The look of the curls my curls they ain't never left but shea moisture the slip is right it smells good and inside of this let me tell y'all no phosphates no parabens um no mineral oil no animal testing no petroleum it has what's in it it has shea butter jamaican black castor oil, which i love 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 and the peppermint and it has a nice subtle smell you know you like stuff on your head that smell good. Okay, I have the product over my whole head. Hey, my question is, I got a problem spot. Everybody have a problem spot on their head. When I say problem spot, I mean like a spot on their hair that seems like no matter what you do, it doesn't want to take the moisturizer you're putting into it or whatever it is. Mine is right here. Right here in the middle top of my head. Not the back. As in old school people from the country say, not your kitchen. Not the front, but right here, right here in the top of my head is where 
I'll be like, oh, we dry. We dry. So, go ahead and put some on them now. Then what I normally do too, after I've combed it in from root to tip, like so, I like to put my hair in the top knot. Because I'm not going to, I don't, after I've dyed it, I don't do a twist out. I don't do a style. I just like to let it just be up and loose with this conditioner on. Um, I don't know if it makes a difference with other people's hair, but for my hair, this is what I do. Like I said before, I'm not a professional. I just, this is what I do to my natural hair. And to be honest, it's been working pretty good for me. Y'all know I'm going to put some more conditioner on it while I'm putting it up in this top knot. Like so. Top knot, messy bun, whatever it is that you call it. But I just put it up like this. And I like to dye my hair on the weekend so I really don't have to go anywhere. I just keep it moisturized. I'm going to put a little bit more around. This is just my thing. I just, after I dye my hair, I just don't like to keep. After I'm putting it up like this, it's going to stay like this for at least a day. I'm not going to mess with it. Or two. Depends. And that's how I dye my natural hair. I'm not a professional, like I said before. It's just what I do, what I use. Hey, and what works for me. But, while you here, because you've already here, and you've been watching for a minute, go ahead, hit like, subscribe, comment. Hey, share, why not? Become a part of the family. Become a cousin. Right? <laughs> right? Have a good day. Bye.